If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Yeah. Well, looks like trouble, all right. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. We got enough crap around here from the livestock. How you holding up? Evening. This bounty you're after. The lady. What's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear. Married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder. That kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. I'll go and introduce myself. Poster says alive. A-L-I-V-E. Come on, girl. Out. How you doing? Welcome back. A lot of folk coming by with these lately. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. That queasy feeling you've been having? Think that's because there's so many O'Driscolls about? I've only got to click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. Just minding my own business. You looking to prove something oh, here? Shit. <gasps> Any more takers? Uh, all right, girl. I'm hoping that masks for the dust.
just hold on there, girl. Yep, yep. <laughs> Let's go, girl.
bastard! I know you're close. I feel you tickling my britches. I just bet you'll kill a defenseless man! I ride with Colm O'Driscoll, you fool! Okay.
Come on. Paper. They saying you're a black widow. Well, I'm nothing of the kind. That means you kill your sweethearts. <laughs> Where do they get such nonsense? You're my sweetheart. Now come on. Ah! It's a bounty hunter. Ah! <gasps> oh God damn it! You got him. That <laughs> sweet dumb. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. Did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? I need help, okay? I have an illness, a fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail, a jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister, please. Save me, save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. Such a strong man. So tough and burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight. Wouldn't you, mister? Put me on the straight and narrow? I wish I'd cut your belly open and shown you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah! I wish you'd die. Ah! Coming up on the jailhouse. Anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. You did good, girl. <clears throat> Whatever you're up to with that mask, leave me out of it. 
You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Giddy up! Break the left hook, see your face? The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she can find herself a husband yet. Yeah, that's cowboys for you. Go off! Holy hell! Come on. Yeah!
Dinosaurs don't listen. Come on. Yeah. about with that on your face. Move.
Get out of here. No! Oh, God! Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Let's go, girl. Take long, girl. Yes, but the lighting. Mm. Hello, mister. Oh. Hello. Why today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture. A grumpy house frau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just. There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I am trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Well, good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest, but, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. 
Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photographer. This is what I'd call a robbery gone wrong, Coyote. Full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. You are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I am can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. to attract any wildlife, I need some privacy. Just wait a second, girl. Wait.
up. Slow up now. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <sighs> Who knows? Hey. Just... Mm. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Whether they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side, and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government or people whom the government like seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Idiot! Find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Watch it. Keep your guns away until we know it's... John, okay? I know what you two are like. You think that... You can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know, all life is never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Yeah. 
It's okay, girl. Stopped. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking them up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. If we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch. Down out of sight. Take out your knife. Stay here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't cross until he has him distracted. He's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. We got two half up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there. Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he alive still? Mm. Come on, focus. Come on!
Charles, you go right, okay? I guess. Take these, hijo de putas! Goddamn army of these bad... How much it... before any more show up. Hey, someone cut this rope. Me head's killing me. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang, the bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep.
possible. Welcome back, sir. So, buying or selling? All right, let's have a look. I hope you make something pretty with that. Yep. Done. Thanks for your help. Girl? It's you again. Yep. Trouble around these parts recently. What in the hell is the matter with this place? If you would give me a minute, please. You're paying it all off then. Good for you, I guess. What can I do for you? You must have done something mighty bad to be worth all this. You have a good one. All right, y'all. Train's here. Get your tickets out. It's on this way. Evening, mister.
Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Now you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Even you, Arthur. Even you. Mr. McGuire is back! <laughs> Come on! Here we go! Let's have ourselves a party! Are we back home now? Oh, oh everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. Oh, and don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadly Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have what? lots of fun. <laughs> Mind if I join you, fine folk? Oh, All right, there. Ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it! Imagine riding with him. I'm all the way from Blackwater to here. Don't get any ideas, Sean. This stupid. So, what now? Come on! How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let him have Listen, some fun. Listen, my friend. <laughs> He's been through a Do lot. Do you know the Louisville man? I Louis thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. Why Susan! You fall over drunk with the You're going to catch it, too. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
gonna go and go get yourself a drink. Well, I'm gonna you deserve it. Can we put some music on? I will. And I'm gonna go and dance with the finest whore in San Francisco. You know, some shit like that. You know how fellas is. Oh. Well, no offense. But you know what every one of them did the second they left the army? Join the goddamn army! Okay. Jesus Christ! I mean, here is a group of fellas that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving. And, and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That taught me something. And, and, and it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a, you, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, well, you, that, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. I am ready to let loose tonight. Who been too long? You're always ready to let loose, Marshman. Well, life's too short. You better go easy, Marston. Family man now. Right. I don't think so. Tonight's all about having fun. McGuire's back. And don't we know it? <laughs> Delusions of you. <laughs> He's back. Mr. Morgan. As loud a mouth as ever. Morgan. Ah, oh, you. Reverend. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. But of 
court. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.